Good morning, guys. This is Alfie. Um, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. So, all right, guys. So this was the mouse that that I purchased last month, and so connect my magic mouse to my late iMac computer that I purchased at Walmart. So yeah, so this was the old because this mouse is kind of like all over the place. It yeah, see, it's kind of like so hard to control it or something. So that's why I decided to purchase a magic mouse. But um, I'm like, how do I connect this mouse? <laughs> but now I know how to connect. You have to do is to get your you know your existing cable from your iPods or for from your iPhone or something and this is what you are going to do reconnect my reconnected my uh, my old mouse so first you go to to the um, settings it says their system preference so you click that go to it says there the mouse right there so you click that and then this thing is gonna appear and it says there's set up Bluetooth mouse so you click that one and now um, connect it on the back of your mouse like that It's connected on the back of your magic mouse. And it says there charge. And then, and then after that, you go to the, um, you know, there's like a Bluetooth icon in there. You click that one and then you turn on. And now the Bluetooth icon is kind of like lit up or something. And now it says here, magic mouse connected. Back to the um, Bluetooth icon in there. And then you click the mouse. It says magic mouse and then you click connect. Okay, so now it's connected. So you hit, let me see. Sorry, I'm still using the old mouse guys. So you hit them and then close that one. And let me see if it's working guys. So let me just put away my old mouse. So now let me see if this is working. Okay, there you go guys. So that is my mouse. So yeah, it's so easy to connect guys. So I'm using my old, I mean my <laughs> magic mouse and I've already connected it to the Bluetooth on my computer. Yeah, so before you buy a so yeah, so I did not check the um actually I don't know that this is going to be compatible to my um you know, my old iMac not until I learned that it has to be, you know, the operating system needs to be there so always check the operating system if it's compatible to your old, you know, iMac computer if it's not then don't buy it don't waste your money but you can return it's okay to return it and so anyway so that's gonna be my tutorial for today thank you guys for watching my video so hopefully it's not confusing so hopefully yeah I did it you know the right way to you guys and it's e the easier way on how to connect so anyways thank you again and have a good day bye